guys welcome back to New Zealand I've been working all weekend I've been shooting some cracking stuff big football tournament on in Napier teams from all over the country playing under 19's level great action great photographs even got a bit of video out of it so really happy with that throughout the day we had some crazy cloud formations again it's, it's been fantastic I mean Saturday was stunningly beautiful, not a cloud in the sky, 27 degrees, hot and sticky. Sunday, it's been warm, but it's been cloudy. We've had this sort of cloud lingering on and then a bit of a storm rolled over, which made some nice uh, nice footage. And that was, that was about it. I was, I was kind of, I finished work and I thought, that's it, I'm heading back. I'm absolutely shattered. I've had a busy weekend. just get a last little bit of light down the ocean I might just get something out of the last bit of light of the day so I've uh, coming out to the waterfront there's quite a few fishermen on the on the foreshore there but I'm holding back a little bit and I've got a few just as I arrived we've got a slither of light coming through there's a bit of a rainbow on Cape Kidnappers over on the horizon there so I, uh, I scrambled like hellfire set up my gear Put a 10 stop ND filter on, put a 0.9 soft grad on, that gave me a 25 second exposure, F11, ISO 100. That looks quite nice, quite like that. Now we've probably got an hour to sunset, and to be honest, I think we're going to get some really nice colour in the sky. We've not got a great deal of sunlight that's going to come through and hit the scene. A big bank of cloud on the horizon there and I think that's going to scupper any any chance of the last bit of golden light. I'm going to hang around and see if I can get anything out of the red sky, potential red sky, if it happens. In the meantime I'm just going to have a bit of a chill and a bit of a wander around and see what's happening. I really fancy this night and it's not let me down but I'm just too tired to carry on. I've had a hell of a busy week at work as I've said and to be honest with you, I don't think the sky's going to light up. Quite a lot of cloud, hell of a lot of cloud on the horizon, and I just don't think it's going to catch. I'm quite happy with what I've got. I've got one shot, which is over by Cape Kidnappers, with a uh, with a rainbow hitting it. Quite like that. So that that'll be it. It's uh, just a quick quick video. I came, I saw, potentially conquered. Anyway, for now from New Zealand on a crazy spring day, evening. Have a great day guys, wherever you are in this world, Kaki Teano.
deserve this. All the work, all the effort is for this. And you fully deserve that. Yes. Come on, let's go! Yeah. We've gone from strength to strength throughout and it's something that we we felt we deserved to be in the final and we wanted to go on and show what we can we can do. You were one nil down, but the body language wasn't too good, but the boys uh, never gave up, yeah, they we, lift we, themselves. We, we've always said to them to, to continue to believe in what we're trying to do and continue to, the, to stick to what we believe in and things like that. And yeah, they stuck to it, they stuck to it, they, we tried to play the game the right way and, and we knew where, where we could hurt them and we knew if we got a couple of chances we could take them. So. Yeah, fortunate on the day, um, but I thought I thought we thoroughly deserved it come the end of the set. The sunshine was good the past two days. It took a lot out of the players, so thankfully it wasn't it wasn't too hot today because um, we had a few tired bodies. But they found that extra little bit today, which was which was pleased. This is probably the biggest achievement I've had in the football in my footballing life. How long have you been playing football, Adam? Uh, since I was four years old. And what what does it mean to come down to Napier to uh, to knock this off? Uh, this is my fourth year down and my second time in the top division and last year we made the quarter final so it's a huge step up to get into the final, let alone win it. And you, uh, you scored a goal as well to get your team on the way? Yeah, yeah, I scored the first goal, it was a penalty, um, just sort of looked the keeper in the eyes and um, just went the other way.